Hello everyone. So today I'm going to make an LED blink servo STM32. For this, you require two things: STM Cube ID and the reference manual of your microcontroller. You can see here. I have to go on this link. I will provide this link in the description. And uh, from here, you have to select your operating operating system, whatever you are using, and uh, just click on then get let latest one. So by this you will get that software that is a stream cube ID and after that you have to download reference manual. So for this you have to just type your microcontroller board number on the Google and after that just type reference manual for this. So you will get the reference manual. So this reference manual you can see this support many microcontroller here. So we are going to use reference manual also in coding for coding purpose. So let's open that STMQ ID and before this we, we have to create project folder so I'm giving the name project you can see and uh, open STMQ ID here you have to select uh, your project folder whatever just uh, we have just created now and click on launch after that just go in new and uh, select STM project here you have to select your board number whatever you are using so just you have to put uh, in this box so I am putting my board number whatever, whatever I have let me just check So it is STM32F103C86. So you have to select that one and uh, going to your environment and click on next. Now give the project name. So I'm go I'm giving LED blink as this project is about LED blink and uh, select and check that uh, folder location and uh, just select that empty also. Use uh, default location and then print. It will take some uh, second wait for it uh, so now here uh, you will get these uh, type of folder and uh, files so you don't uh, don't change in anything you have to just open man.c file and uh, remove extra command or other or if you have in main file so I'm removing whatever I'm not I don't want in this Code. so after that we can start the code so now we are ready to go so as I, as I, as i'm using gpio a pin number 5 so this gpio is a peripheral so first we have to check where that gpio is connected on which uh, uh, it is connected on which bus it is connected so we have to check so go in your reference number and check memory and architecture so you will get this uh, this type of diagram flow diagram so here you can see uh, in my case uh, uh, my GPIO is connected with APB2 bus. So uh, now I will go in APB2 bus. So uh, why I'm I'm checking this this thing? Because uh, uh, for, for GPIO we uh, we need to uh, enable the clock before using. So this enable clock uh, uh, will get in RCC. So RCC is uh, uh, there are RCC that is reset con clock control. So here we have to search for APB2. Yeah, go in APB2 now. So this register is for responsible for enabling of, of clock of any GPIO whatever we have. So here you can see position of two uh, IO input uh, input output port A enable clock. So if we if I put here one, so it will be it will enable the clock for GPIO A, and if I put zero, then it will be disabled for clock. Uh, for GPIO A, so here is the offset address of this at uh, 80. So 
to make the register of this we have to check the rcc base address so here is the go for go in memory map and uh, copy that rcc base address you can see here and we will create a macro here in the code so just create macro aspect define and uh, just give, use capital word here rcc base address and uh, paste it here that address and make it uh, unsigned so this is the base address of rcc register or, uh, and uh, we are going to use that ttp2 bus register from here so now go in gpio register and uh, uh, and uh, check that uh, first uh, check uh, uh, search for gpio base address so again go in memory map and copy that gpio base address and uh, again create one macro for this also So every register has uh, has address and this address is the combination of two things: the base address of the peripheral and the offset address of that particular register. So that is why we require those things: base address and the offset address. So now we have two uh, two base address: RCC and GPIO base address. So now we'll create uh, offset address of particular register. So now go again in GPIO. Sorry, first we will go in RCC register. That is uh, that register which is responsible for clock enable part. So now go in RCC, then again go in FEV2. That is bus, FEV2 bus. Now check this uh, address, offset address of this list. Mm, yeah, here, here, yeah, here. So this address is uh, 80. So copy this. Now again, we'll create a macro for this. Just give a proper name as a, according to register name. So this is a ABB to register. So just copy that name and put it there. Yeah. So now we'll create the register of EPB2 to access that particular register. So for this, uh, we are uh, we have now offset address of uh, that uh, EPB2 and also we have base address of RCC. So so offset uh, that register will be combination of both. So give a proper name again to that register. Just give clock enable register yeah so we are going to make a register so we will make a make it as a pointer and uh, after that we de-reference de 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 it so this register is going to be combination of rcc base address and offset of ABB2. and make it a pointer and uh, also And just type cast into u int edit. Now be referencing and uh, yeah. So now we'll go for next register are present in GPIO register. So this is there are two register in GPIO that uh, CRL and CRH. It is uh, configuration register low and configuration high. So these register are responsible to configure the particular pin of any port. So here we are con going to configure the output mode, input mode. You may select whatever you require. So here there are two bit mode and CNN. So mode bit is going to select the mode output or input and CNF is going to select the output 
state so here i'm i'm going to use postful and uh, as uh, we are going to we will we are going to make an led blink so it will it will, it will going to be a it is going to be a output so we will select output so i'm making so here i created a offset of all crl so here is so again create the register of crl also you can see here why crl because crl is uh, uh, contain uh, 0 to 8 pin uh, pin of any zip drive so if you are using uh, let's say 10 pin number 10 of zip drive os and then you have to use crl so in my case it is crl so here you can see uh, we have um, in mode if we are if we are selecting output then we have to uh, we have to put one one output mode by x max speed so uh, in my case mode will be 1 1 and uh, cnf bit of 5 cnf 5 that is cnf 5 it, it is going to be 0 0 you can see here general purpose output so we have to uh, make 20 and 21 bit 1 1 and 20 and 23 bit as 0 0 So let's now go for uh, another register. That is a uh, output data register. Just search for that. You will find here only. So. Yeah, it is the output port output data register. So it uh, this register has uh, 16 bit and 16 other results. So why 16? Because every port has 16 pin. So whatever port you are selecting, you have to set that pin at for high one and for low zero. So just create offset of this also. That is ODR. So so you have to make uh, some changes here in the name and uh, paste that uh, offset address yeah and make it uh, make all these things on site and uh, make it also a volatile for uh, optimization purpose now create a third register for uh, odr just copy that name So here uh, we have to change in uh, offset address of the ODR and uh, also make the changes in name of, name of that. That is CRL will be changed to ODR. Now all registers are ready. You can see here because we are going to use uh, for uh, blinking purpose. We are going to use only this this one. So now let's configure all these registers according to our requirement so we have to enable the flow for uh, a or a copy this uh, register name and we are we will use uh, our operation here to set the bit but first let's check the that uh, which bit we have to set so go in reference manual after that so go in uh, rcc Yeah, in, in case of RCC, you have to set uh, second bit for GPIO A. So we will put here two. Again, copy this uh, uh, same thing and we will change that into CRL. So CRL register is, used, uh, is uh, used for to configure the particular register. So as uh, we discussed, we have to put one one in mode and uh, in cnf bit we have to put 0, 0 so go in gpio yeah so we need to make 20 and 21 bit 1 1 so let's make it
so i'm putting here three because three means in binary one one so it will put at the position of 20 and 21 also so after that we need to make uh, we need to clear that particular up 22 and 23 bit in case of cnn so for clearing we will use and operation with negus Just make the changes in part of clearing. Put your negation here, and uh, it, it is going to be 22. Yeah. You can see 22 and 23. We need to make zero. Now we configure successfully. So after that, uh, we need to blink. So we need to put that uh, high low code in the while loop. So it will continuous blink after uh, by doing this. So here uh, I'm going to use ODI register because this register is going to uh, make it high or low that uh, LED. So copy that name and paste it here. Do the same OR operation here also. So as uh, I discussed uh, already, so we need to make that particular pin. I so in case of uh, in our case it is 5 so we need to make uh, 5 bit uh, as 1 for uh, I and uh, for low it, it should be 0 so this this line is going to be glow the LED and uh, after that will create uh, another line and then uh, that line will be used for the LED of but uh, we need to see the blink so for this we have to create some delay in between them so for delay you can use for loop so i'm going to use for loop here so just put uh, two for loop uh, after gpio on and after gpio off Here I'm using i less than equal to approach 10,000. So you can use uh, other one also for uh, other delay. So it is not 10,000, it is 1 lakh. Yeah, it is 1 lakh. So now click on build, you can see. There is no error and there is no warning. So now let's connect our circuit. So now here I, I just made the changes in delay. I'm just made the changes in delay as I equal to less than 7,000. 7, Sorry, 70,000. Because we are going to uh, we are going to check for one lakh also. You can see. So now build it again. Because I made this, so for uploading purpose, you have to just click on run button. So now it is uploading. You can see 79 percent, 92 percent, and uh, now it is done. You can see here yeah, it is blinking. Yeah. So let's change it uh, from 7,000 to 70,000 to one lakh. After that, you have to just click on build button again. Yeah, click on that. Okay, there is no error again. Okay. Click on that uh, now run button. Just wait for two seconds. Mm, now it is done. Yeah. You can see now there is some more delay as previous. One. So now everything is okay, you can try for other delay. So thank you for watching.